In this video, I'm going to show you in about 20 clicks how to make your CSV file searchable, chattable. All right, so you log into your Layer Chain install, you click on Projects, and you click Add a Project. And here, you call it what you would like to call it, and you click Save. At this point, you just choose this particular uh, source, and we'll just upload that file. Let's go grab that file. All right. And I'm going to trigger the upload. Now, all this stuff could be automated. I don't know why I have to click that. Just it's on the to-do list. Then I'm going to transform that. Basically, iterate over it and grab all the data out of it. Now, this isn't a huge file, so this will take a few moments. You could go look in the database. You could go look in the horizon queue. Um, so it's about three clicks so far. Um, then I'm going to vectorize that data. Just when it's done, I want to make sure it gets vectorized. So again, timing is everything. Uh, there'll be something here soon that says I'll do one, then the next. It's very uh, synchronous. All right, now I want to make that chattable. So I am going to add the chat here uh, by clicking that. Uh, and in here, instead of copying it from an existing one, because I don't have one, I'm going to add a few things. I'm going to add um, this guy here, which embeds the user's question. This one here, <coughs> here which searches the database, the vector database. This one here that takes the results and trims them down so we save a ton of space for token consumption. And then um, I'm going to combine the content to further trim it down and combine it so that we can, again, uh, save some space for tokens. And then finally, I'm going to choose the one that uh, allows us to talk to this particular LLM. Now, this is OpenAI. Soon it will be Palm from uh, Google. That will be showing next week. So this is the prompt I'm going to use. Uh, nothing amazing. I'm sure it could be better. But it's just asking you to stick the data set. Um, you'll see in a few questions I have where I force it to. Uh, what I want to do is add a um, question uh, um, transformer as well so that we could take any questions coming in and, and, and alter them a bit too so they're very strict. So for example, in this one, I'm going to say, as a user, can you give me some recipes with chocolate? Uh, and I'm going to say from the data set, but I could append that uh, to the question by using a particular outbound uh, is what I want to add. So I ask the system, and if everything's done in the background, which it should be because it's only like a 200 line file, um, things should be start. Oh, it won't come in. Let me show you why. So this guy here, uh, it reduces the size down so that we leave room for response from the system. So now I'm going to clear the history so we don't confuse the chat history, and I'll ask again. And at this point, it should have room to reply, where a moment ago it did not. So that's it. Um, minus my mistakes, less than 20 clicks, and you have a CSV file that is now chattable. Uh, quite easily, that's going to be an API uh, via webhooks or just pushing it in uh, and so forth. So I could just continue to ask questions. I can help it stick to the data set. Um, and let's see if it has one. Let's see if this one does this. Uh, the best chocolate chip cheesecake ever. So, you know, like maybe I could even give it more room. It runs out, but let's see. Again, some of this is backed by the vector database, so we send the query in, it gets vectorized, and then the system knows, because we put that particular response type in the, in the chain, to say, okay, I'm gonna use a vector database search. So yeah, that is it, less than 20 clicks.